All Villamard gets geared up and we all talk about him. Hey, did you see Victor's playing? Hi, I'm Steve Hauser. Welcome to Monday Night Special. In our first story, Carolyn Warren takes us to the Italian neighborhood of Villamar, stomping ground of Montreal playwright Vittorio Rossi. Pictures, uh, James Lane. He's over there. Well, I feel very, uh, very comfortable. You know, it, 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 it's, it's where I, it's where I've grown up. It's where all my, my, the characters I've written about, you know, come from. This is uh, this, the real thing. This is the real thing. This is Baroma. This is uh, I actually mentioned Baroma in my first play. Everyone knows Vittorio Rossi at Bar Roma. He's a playwright who's become something of a celebrity in the Italian neighborhood of Villemar. His plays are about the people he knows here. I can't speak for the other Italian communities. I don't know them that well. What I do know is Villamard. And in Villamard, we're dealing with, uh, with, some, with a lot of Italians who have kept their culture very, very strongly. I mean, you look around here, uh, you know, the decor, it's, it's very Italian, you know? It, it's, uh, sure they're, very, they're very, very proud of that, you know? The, the, I can introduce you to some, some guys uh, in, this, in Villamard, like, they could be like four feet, four feet five, okay? And, 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 and they'll go up to a guy six foot two. If he's intimidating, he will not be afraid to stand his ground. And, you know, a lot of times, uh, you know, they attribute, uh, uh, you know, a hard-headedness to some Italians. It has nothing to do with that. It has to do with pride. When they know they're right, they'll stick to their guns. And you like that about this place? I love it. I love it. it that, that's what, what drives me to keep writing about um, people from Villamar. It's, it's, you know, it's my, it's my territory. It's what I know best. It's what I understand the most. And so I, I will keep exploring that until I feel I have nothing more to say. Women have been offended by these two rough, tough, macho, sexist guys, right? Well, you know, they should be. Uh, so should men. And a lot of, a lot of, the, uh, and that's good. And I think if that feeling can be provoked from those characters and from the play, that's good. Uh, uh, you know, it, it should let them be aware that that is a behavior in this society that does exist. And anyone's going to sit down and tell me that it does not exist, and they're really out to lunch, as far as I'm concerned. Rossi worked as a part-time shoe salesman for six years. He put that experience in his new play. It's called Scarponi. That means Claude Hopper, or Big Shoe. Well, because it's very un-Italian, Rosanna, let's speak the truth here. Oh, we're all Italians. Am I getting the job? I don't know. In your opinion? In my opinion, I don't know. So the whole community of Villemar turns out to see Rossi's plays, like last year's, called The Chain. My first time I go see a play, and I really enjoyed it because it's about a typical family in Villamard. Uh, uh, everything they had on the, on the sketch, it was, uh, was real. It really meant something. It really was a typical Italian family, you see? I know people who don't know nothing about theater, but when they heard about Villamard and Italian and Vittorio, some of them know, they all rushed to the center to see it, you know? And he's turning us into theater goers. So it's really exciting. and. Uh, Every time he does come out with a new one, uh, all Villamard gets geared up and we all talk about him. Hey, did you see Victor's play? And it's really exciting. We're all proud of him. He's, he's a hero, but a lot of people know him. A lot of people know him around here. We know his brothers, we know his sisters, you know. We all know each other. It's all one family in Villamard. Hey, Frank, how you doing? Not bad, you saw? Okay, okay. I heard about your play there, Scarponi. They're very happy and very touched by the fact that on stage they're able to see part of their neighborhood um, and characters uh, portrayed. So I, I they, they got a kick out of that. That's right. 
You are looking at your new manager, Janka. No more fooling around. You think you're gonna get it? You've not Scarponi is playing at the Centaur until job. April 1st. Well... Nobody knows this job better than I do. Francis from downtown. <laughs> and who is that? A nobody. You think you're gonna... <laughs>